I'm here to state as the leader of the opposition in very clear and unequivocal terms that um, our absence from parliament, plenary sittings, is official. What makes a matter official is when it is communicated. And when it is communicated, it is the job of the presiding officer to consider how to treat that official communication. I addressed you last week, but one, and informed the country of the meeting we had in the Speaker's office, in the Speaker's chamber, with three government ministers, namely the Honorable General Jim Huezi as the team leader, the Honorable General David Mohozi, Minister of State for Internal Affairs, and the Honorable Obothoboth, Minister of State for Defense. In that meeting, there was commitment a re-echoing of the commitment made a priori in the plenary, then being presided over by the Honorable Taibwa, to the effect that the government will respond to these matters in 30 days' time. And the 30 days remained a matter of commitment. In the meeting with the Speaker, General Muhwezi re-echoed the commitment. In fact, he was very clear to the effect that they will comprehensively respond to the issues for which our demands remain unanswered. All they are waiting for is the time given to them, probably to doing more preparation. The 30 days expired on Sunday last week. On, to be particular, on the 19th of November. On Tuesday, so on Thursday last week, the House Speaker informed the country that the same ministers had approached her and expressed their unavailability. I don't know whether it was in writing or verbal, but at least she communicated and it's on the record of Parliament. Upon which our response was that if they're not available, we are equally unavailable because at no one time are we going to return to the House without these questions being responded to. So all we are waiting for is the date and the time these ministers will be ready to respond. That they traveled for a security meeting out of the country is it true that they are in exile? That they're not going to come back? Are they dead? Are they disappeared like the other people that are disappeared? These gentlemen are alive. We need them back to respond. And um, we're not going to be invited in a, an exchange with the speaker. Our demand of the speaker is follow up her instructions to the executive, namely to come and respond. And uh, it's not safe for us to engage into a sparring image with the speaker who is supposed to be a referee in this matter, as a neutral referee. And therefore, our expectation of the speaker is to demand of the executive to come and answer. Otherwise, um, any other matters beyond a response to these matters is peripheral. There's no amount of comparison or juxtaposition one can make of uh, is the allowance that people get out of travel, per diem and what, with the lives of the people. Well, I'm afraid we're not going to into that uh, digression because the matters for which we are making demands are extremely pertinent. In fact, they are not even partisan we expect our presiding officer, the neutral arbiter in these matters, to be making demands from the other side as the, a neutral actor.
Otherwise, uh, our demands remain the same demands, and um, we shall wait at a time when these um, ministers return. I want to again to restate our position as the opposition in Parliament that we are not available. The, the, the days we gave the executive, once they expire, we shall one day return to the House to make another demand that they show us the, the burial grounds or the bodies of these uh, missing Ugandans. At the moment, we are still demanding for an explanation, which they must produce without any hesitation, because they know where they are or where they buried them in case they are dead. So we are making a demand that they begin by making the statement themselves. The next demand will be different. And I hope the country understands us in that space and clear. Thank you. All the threats are a diversion. And uh, fortunately for us, we are very clear-headed in what we are doing. Uh, there's no constituency that elected an MP on account of being an athlete or a footballer. So the, the, those small diversions, um, as political leaders in parliament, we understand them. But we, are, we, we cannot be diverted. Our, ours is a, a, a humble, clarion call to the speaker as the neutral arbiter, who actually even gave a timeline to the executive to indeed follow up on her orders to the executive. The order is not on our side. The order should be on the executive side. So that, for us, does not really uh, move us an inch. The tone used, yes, we, are, we can understand the tone. Uh, but again, the tone is a political tone. Fortunately, I'm not a religious leader, so I can understand the tone. And therefore, I can work with that tone without necessarily being diverted. Timeline, the timelines can be communicated. It can be tomorrow, it can be next week. First things first, there must be a response. If it doesn't come, we shall compare it to be brought. Don't ask me how. I am afraid the group against this boycott is a very tiny minority. And uh, the, the reasons they are giving are not really principal reasons. They seem personal. So if somebody says the boycott um, is not helpful, what is this that is helpful they are suggesting? So if you demand for a statement, which should be debated, and it's not brought, so what are they waiting for in the House? I even heard one of the leaders saying, this is a, a, a nope matter. I think that is really disgraceful to come from a leader anywhere. Not even an ill sworn person can make that statement. But to come from an MP, that MP is misplaced. But all I can say is that uh, the opposition platform is together. That is not to say that some individuals are being used to divert this unity. But I'm glad if you look at the array of the team here, called impromptuly, it's a good cast of what the opposition is about. I think uh, I, I can confidently say that it's well represented. And therefore, I have no worries about some individuals frolicking on their own to purport to be representing the opposition. I speak for the opposition in parliament. And as long as a party has not withdrawn their, their allegiance to the platform here, we are speaking for the opposition in parliament. And if they are individuals, their personal reasons, like I said last time, they have every right under the law to seek to belong away from this platform. We, we can never deny them that right, but they must declare their interests. We have declared our interests here. We are running for pro-people interests. If people have other interests, that's their sacred space. My brother from UBC, um, are we affected? I think affected is a word various. 
Yes, we are affected. We are legislators. We are the voice of our people. We speak for their aspirations. We speak for their desires. We speak for their frustrations as well. But the beauty is, under frustration, we are doing our work. We are affected because we'd rather see these missing people back. We are affected as citizens because we are seeing levels of impunity unprecedented. We are affected because we are seeing a replay over many times, impunity. Might is right. That's why we are saying we are affected and you are also affected. You are not feeling it, you mean? <laughs> Everyone should feel affected. We are fighting for civic space. For everyone, civil society, the media, politicians, religious institutions, and everyone, including witch doctors. So everyone should feel affected by this. Then whether um, the speakers ignored our pleas, the beauty about us is that we communicate. And when we communicate, it's officialdom. How it is treated is not our space. Our duty, our obligation is to communicate our intentions because our intentions are guided by the law. Time frame, we have the constitution before us and uh, we are protected by the constitution. That's why we are not allowing any diversion. The constitution did not give it a time space for how long we can protest. A protest, a demonstration is constitutional. So, Anything, the rules and what are subordinate legislations. They are secondary, they are subsidiary, and therefore they cannot supersede the constitution and its command of the right to demonstrate, protest, illegality, impunity, and lawlessness. That's what we are doing. That they are safe from this impunity, which is why we are working so hard to end impunity and return sensibility to our politics. But I'll tell you, yes, we are circumspect as to what will happen if we do not end the impunity. You know, it's a matter that preoccupies us as occupants of this public space. And um, it's the reason why this sacrifice is worth every little thing you can ever think about. On your other question relating to uh, safety of the families, when you meet the Minister of Defense and Security, internal, ask them whether these people are safe. They are the ones who guarantee safety. I cannot guarantee their safety. They avoid abducted and uh, they are missing family members. So ask internal affairs and defense whether these people are safe now that they are contacting them. And that I think they have the best answer. As, as for my side, I cannot guarantee their safety. All I can guarantee is a voice for them, just like for other citizens. Edobozi, Liabana, Uganda, Liba Issa, Mbaba, Kawabwe, Muzi, Murito, Seri, Gwanga. Because Nite ziku wata kusonga zitu liko. Ziku, ziku, ziku liko bintu bilala. Ila njala kupate geza nti. Nsonga zitu wa yogila keza tutumia parlamenti tuchazi liko. Sipika wa parlamenti tumuwa echitibwa. Ila nga lifari ata ina kubana cheko vila. Chetumu banja. Ndi timu iliwe wangi kube ndobo. Ata ina taina jiega tako na kube ndobo. Aina jiwa ready card. Ili kila okole bikolobero. Mchisawe. No Rachel, wabanga ya juwe na kwa asa tungaza guwako, ngana katibali mkwebu za abu za, wabuinza wali na abu koze se ababanje, bajeba nyonyole, wakwebu za abu za kwebali ko. Ya tutegeza nti, enako zibawa wangabili mumu, uluoku bili, uluwede, tibagenda kubaya lao. Situoza nti bagenda mbuwa ngangu, se nti wawa ngangu ka, wababa abu zibu wawo. Wibana hako maunga bete gifu, Okutudam tuja kubayi lao. Kwa wanga sibe ite gifu, nafi tuja kisigala nga tukole ibilala, mkomitize tuwela, mkola oversight nga opposition, ndo zebio, tuwale asura bitu jako mmateka, tuja kusigala nga tubikola. 
Elanji ala kusaba Hava kabu opposition Obutabe ila mumbela ya, ya kutia Hava ntupa febaba londa Okuji okupe dobo zili yawe Agalo kusamba mpira Walu hibi binje hibi nja ulu Hibi suambiru wa mpira Ozo ulo kusala osiki uzo jezigua No gena kutrials Agalo kudu ke msi nde Echitongo liwe chidi Echisunsula badu sibe msi nde Atene Olympic Games teziri wala Na ye omlima guwa parliament wa mkulu Kuwela dobo zili yaba antu so siku kukola waka za njilizi. Chiru unji nyawa waka ogendo kwe umuza amu na ukutege ilavala viva kola mwuse ndala na ukuguli zika nya niba nawe na ukola duyiro. Nibi na misu kakudu duyiro na urecho mbela yu na eteka waka mkutiante uchiba tisa nyo waka wa parliament indozo mwui wa msula tusasula bulonji. Sino uo za nti waku gamba nti tojia kutambula kukenda chigali mwumizanyo. Chuku jia kufuna enzo wakwe uwe miyake etano. Okule mbira, ono kuchikira wana Uganda. Ni dobo zili yawe. Icho kusatu. Njela kusaba haba kule mbeze bibi ina. Biofuze bili mwopozisho ni bienja ulu. Bwe waba angi nsonge zitu mparlamenti. Tiba nazi tegira bulu unji. Bebu ze kubanga ulichibina china na mpala. Achichikiri la wano. Amalubo za gava jibali agenja ulu. Gai nzo kuloze, abandu kubalu oze santi, mo opposition, tevali yiyo mo umatifu. Na ulo chotu saba, haba kule mbeze wa fabu. Ba ulirize dobozi li abandu, mbutufu, ebirozo bi abwe. Banda Uganda badinganga bitade kaluke chikungo, referendum. Ebirozo bi abwe, vyo gamanti, vyo baliku bi abwe, vintifedude mparlamentu nyumie mboze ya abu lijo, tetuja chikola. Yera ngo mkulo mbu wabu ziza. Uwenzo chyo gamanti eni nso nga antono. Tinoe chuweteke ya teke la bidako. Okujia konga dada biyoko la tobi mara biro oza ako. Ngo biguwa ako bubigwe la bubigwizi. Chifu ifu. Nebo vango ino vudo ulo oza kubiyoko la. Nolo oza kubiva deo mbululu. Nolo oza kubina dako. Tuso ula gamanti eni nso nga antono. Speaker wa parliament tumu saba. Alondole obude boya wa. Obanyi sari ya boya wa. Government. Bajiba kule statement ya yon parliament. Eda mwenye nsonga za fe. Kubanga tujukila bulu unji. Nesa biti bidi ezize. Ezize. Bala ganti bete gefu. Speaker na tegeza kuloku bidi wa sabiti eno. Ntibali yu. Bwana haba kumie yu. Tujia kubawo. Tulinze statement ya we. Nibu ibate li yu. Tujia kusiga langa tukole bidara. Mwibali nyo. Kiu, ndoze nsonga nade na zitanyi za bulu unji. Ekisoka, mparlamenti tiba taputu ya o mateka. Ate, amateka awaga soma ko, uli mtu wa sobologa taputa obuwe. Ekifo yu bataputu ya mateka ya vila koti. Inoreisho, nisu na kutuka kulu ulu tuwala mkoti. Tusha kaka santi wanu wajia kubela woku ule ziganya. Woku kisajia chikulu. Na itikazi chikulu. Uchiba angajia chile chigambejo. Buli umate gere uvuna njizibu hawe. Atabu kore. Ngabu ino kore buha. Echoku bili. Uvuna njizibu wa wa speaker. Tebu sobula kusese tuwa nebu kore buha mulala. Ukufana kono uvuna njizibu wa buha luo puputa sobula kore buha mulala. Ndoza Singapore yomu atege rovu na inzwa bina abo kule damu mistale jabo bina bina bito gera kwa tibiso la keme nsa mto meme insonge singo kuli bito gera kwa ano walowe insonge nkulu weiri edi duam neda be muzi abu zibwa muzi dekani yegenda wait yonde kuwanga gumbe jawa gambi nti abantu nsa koya wajia kende ra ndoza baba kwa parliament basa swa bulungi. Ida ba mativu. E, Siro oza antu waluo mbaka ngechimu keza mpala mendi kufuna ansako. Ida singo manyinti waka mpala mendi wabia ida omu ngedi ya nja ulo. Beyond wakusinga. Ensako ya abu chukulu nesi motivation ya singa. Olo vuna nzi wabu nene. Obala ito kola. Ida omu ntuye nalo oza antu ya jabaku watakakondo. 
abawalule olwa ensako ndoza kuba kujja babaka kumulamwa siroza ntu walwo mubake ya ronde bwa bantu asolo okujiwa kumulamwa olwensonge yo nsonge jetu liko nkulu nnyo okudibwa mu chikulu nnyo obwangu bwo okudibwa mu kisinga no bukulu okusinga wo no lwecho walwo ensonge zili mu dilo tezinadibwa okudda mu buterevu eteke kulu yetulambika semateke era mwetutambulira amateka amalala bazukulu ba nakasatwe no lwecho ligasobola kubanga gatujja ku kugoberera ensonga zine nkulu obukulu yabuziza speaker ensonga zetu amwa yazisula mu kasero zatazisula tazisula nga mu kasero tujja kwatagana na ye naba munyamba ko okutegera obulunye ngiri ye nkwata yazo twali muntu asobola kuemalirira ndoza bwe muuliziganya adefes tugalanga wompuliziganya wakati wafe ne office ya speaker ya tulubira bwe tegefu bulijjo okuliriza baiche bamugambi engari fari ataba na chie kubira ensonga beziva ayo bulunji ngatuuliriza ngatuddamu beziva nga zivude mu ngeri ya kubetegera ngatusimba na kakongo ngabe tusimbi olwalero yes tugena kujulukuka sisobola siri wano ku kuogerera radio katwe ndi ndi mukuogerera nsonga ntongole sisobola kubera mu mbera yaku